Okay, GED math preparation for 2017. So I'm making this video midway through 2017, and maybe you are, um, you know, wanting to get your GED by, let's say, you know, February, March of the year. 2017, it was your New Year's resolution, you know, how it is when we're all starting off uh, the new year, we have these big goals, but then, you know, time goes on and every year it seems to be the same thing with a lot of our goals. Hopefully not all of our goals, all right? But let's say, you know, getting your GD has been one of those things that was like a top priority for you and you still don't have it by um, the, the time of this video, which is June of 2017. So what I want to talk to you about is just kind of give you some big picture things to be thinking about when it comes to preparing for the math section for the GED. And I, I like to focus uh, on the math section primarily, one, I'm a math teacher, but two, uh, with respect to the GED, it's the number one section. The math section is the number one section that holds people back from passing. Uh, you know, generally, most people can study the science and the other sections, which, you know, still require significant effort study and take those sections and pass, but the math section is is really tough for a lot of people, and it holds them up. It's the one thing that holds them up from getting their GED, so if you could relate to this, then you know, you're going to get a lot out of this video. Now, let's talk about it. Preparation. What does preparation mean to you? Well, it means, it should mean the word action, okay? Action, all right? So, you know, there's different ways to prepare for the GED, but all of, any good way is one of which you're going to be taking action. So there really isn't one exact perfect way um, that, you know, uh, you have to take. Okay, there isn't like, okay, you have to do this exactly in order to pass the GED math section. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that because everyone's a little bit different and everyone's coming from different backgrounds and skill sets. But the one consistent thing that's going to be there is that you have to take action, okay? And I would stress that you have to take consistent action in order to uh, pass the GED, okay, the GED math section. But as a math teacher and uh, people on my background, I've uh, run a site, and I'll give that to you in a second, gedmathlessons.com. I interact with so many people and I hear their stories about how they you know, have tried to prepare for the GED, and you know, unfortunately, it's been unsuccessful for them. Unsuccessful for them, and and for good reason. Um, I think it's it's for for the main thing when it comes to math is this: if you think back when you were in school, okay, and for whatever reason, clearly, if you did, if you're getting, trying to get your GED, you know, you didn't complete high school or whatever the case might be for whatever reason, but at one time, you were in a classroom, okay, and likely, okay, there's probably exceptions to this, but not many, you were in a classroom listening to, to a teacher, okay? Now, maybe you did great in math, and maybe that wasn't the reason why you left school, but, you know, you had the advantage of a teacher, okay? Now, you're on your own, and you're trying to prepare for your GED, and you're trying to learn on your own, maybe, <laughs> you know, it's difficult, right? So no one's kind of giving you, there's a lot of direction out there. Of course, you know, uh, my video and my videos as well as trying to give you what I think is the best guidance, but no one's telling you exactly what to do. And that's part of the problem. Okay. Now, my suggestion to you is the following. Since 2014, since the new GED in 2014, it's become more challenging. It's become, um, oh, a lack of a better word, it's become more of a serious test. It used to be where you can kind of, you know, do a kind of cram course and and then, you know, go in and take the GED previous to 2014 and probably maybe have a pretty good chance of getting lucky and passing. Not so much now. You really need to kind of know, you really got to have to know math right? You don't have to be perfect in math, but you do have to know some math. You actually really have to know it. <laughs> I know it sounded redundant there, but you have to know some math. So if you're looking for, for ways to say, well, I don't want to know math, and you're trying to look for shortcuts around it, well, you're just going to find yourself frustrated, okay? So you're going to have to know some basic level of math. Now, you don't have to be perfect in algebra and geometry and algebra 2, and all those different things, but you do have to understand some core concepts. And I'm here to tell you, uh, everybody can learn this, okay? You don't have to be, you know, you don't have to get an A plus in algebra or geometry. You can, you can start from a very, very modest 
uh, level of math, I'm talking like a high elementary or some sort of middle school background level skills. And if you are taught correctly, you can learn the fundamentals within, you know, a period of months to uh, to get you to the point where you could pass the GED. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. I mean, clearly you can't go back and redo four years of high school. That's that's too tough. So you really have to focus on key skills. And when you're learning these skills, you're going to have to um, learn them in the most direct way uh, possible. So what I'm getting at here is instead of you trying to teach yourself, I would strongly suggest that you get the you get some video good instruction. Okay video instruction because it's you're you probably have a life you're probably working now if you can get into some sort of class okay where you have a good teacher that's teaching you okay then that's great all right but there's so many other um, resources out there namely YouTube and other uh, video based classes that I would just definitely uh, be watching videos video instruction you need instruction okay that's the number one thing you have to you have to uh, start with, okay, is learning from a teacher, okay, whether in an actual class or through some sort of video-based class. And notice that I'm stressing video, not just like reading PowerPoints or reading <clears throat> uh, a book. So I'm sort of listen to an actual teacher walk through, um, you know, explain a prom, walk through several proms, explain the steps. This is the this is your starting point, okay. Once you once you you know, um, are working with a teacher in some ways, what's happening is your skills are going to go up, your math skills, all right, little by little, right? And once you get to a certain point where you have enough math skills, okay, the next thing is, is you need to go ahead and actually practice this, okay? You have to practice this. First of all, you should practice just your skills, all right? So just practice solving basic problems, um, just to make sure that you comprehend the skill that you're learning. For example, if you're learning about positive and negative numbers, you should do a lot of uh, problems to make sure you have that skill down. But once you do have that skill down, okay, and a lot of the skills required for the GED, the next thing is to take practice test, okay? And this is where, you know, having a, um, a GED exam book, you know, something you can get on Amazon or, or, or whatnot will really help you out. Now, a lot of students or a lot of uh, folks, they just kind of go right to this. They say, oh, look, I can buy this book for 20 bucks. It's, um, you know, uh, GD 2017, you know, practice this and that. And they get right into this. And that, you know, those books all have some sort of summary re uh, review for math. And they're pretty good. But they're but once again, they're just a quick, you know, uh, thing that you read 30 pages in a book. To, and that's not going to be enough to really grow your skills. Okay, so a lot of folks, they even even if they read the book completely, um, you know, maybe that one might be enough for some people to get through. But let's let's face let's be honest here. Let's face it, most people are going to just scan through that. They're going to just scan through it and be like, oh yeah, well, I kind of remember that. They're not going to take it as seriously because it, you know, big books are you know frankly kind of intimidating and they're they're boring. Okay, so that's why you don't want to just get yourself a practice test uh, book. And just start taking um, practice tests, and you know, miss many of them, or get some right and not sure why you got them right. Maybe you got lucky. Um, it's a bad. That's a bad um, approach because when you actually go to uh, take your GED, you're really kind of gambling, and, and then you're going to get frustrated, and you're going to get back at caught in, in the cycle. So the key is this. You got to start with probably practicing your skills. Before you do that, you need instruction. So when it comes to math for the GED, okay, two things. One, just accept the fact that you're going to actually have to know some math. And that's a good thing for you, by the way. You know, you shouldn't be, well, you know, I don't want to learn math. Well, you know, you, you know, learning math is a good, good, good skill, okay? It's not like you're going to be doing algebra every day at your job. That's not the case, case um, um, you know, or the reason why you shouldn't want to learn math. But it's going to increase your analytical, you know, uh, abilities, your critical reasoning, your, your, um, ability to look at data and information and, you know, make some sense of it. So in order to do that, you want to start with good instruction. Okay. Good, um, uh, connect with a good teacher. Okay. Whether online 
um, or through your, uh, some sort of local GED class, right? And I'm going to say something here too. Um, if you're getting, um, if some either class or uh, program is saying, hey, you can get ready in, you know, for the GED in, in uh, uh, one week, you know, hey, well, you know, you get your diploma here and this and that. Those are effectively scams. So if you want to go that route, you know, just be mindful that you're you're likely, you know, if it's it's that old adage, you know, if it sounds too good to be true, it likely is. Okay, I would, you know, tell you, you know, uh, and I don't even know who you are, no, the end of this video, but I do care enough um, to make this video for you. And I'm telling you, do it the right way, because in the end, it's going to be an investment in your skills, in the long run. It's not going to take forever either. Okay, so. Get connected with some good video, math instruction. Build your skills up, okay? You don't have to know everything, but build up enough skills, practice those skills, and then start taking practice tests. And then you're going to have a level of confidence to go in and just conquer the GED. All right, let me leave you with a couple things here. One, um, I'm constantly doing videos like this uh, on YouTube. So please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that. And if this uh, video helped you out, maybe like it and comment. I, I do read the comments. I don't respond to uh, all of them. It's just very busy, but I will try to. But uh, this is good feedback for me to, so I can get better at helping you. And then I want to leave you with my free GED math course. It's gedmathlessons.com. I'll put a link uh, in that in the description of this video. It's video based and it's done by myself, um, uh, an experienced math teacher, you know, and, uh, you know, it will cost you a zero. So come on over. Um, got a strong track record of um, people using the site and passing. It's not, you know, it's not going to take you one week or one month to complete, but, um, you know, all the information that you effectively you will need for the GD is going to be there, the majority of it for sure, when it comes to math. So thanks for watching and have a great day.